Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to overclock your F1 3000G or any other Ryzen CPU. This will not work in any Intel CPUs. So, first thing you have to do is go to this website, amd.com slash en technologies Ryzen master. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And then what you want to do is you scroll down to download now, click download now, and wait for this until installed. Okay, I had to cut that out because it took longer than expected, but mine has downloaded. You just need to click it, click yes, and then wait for the install to pop up. or read it if you want, I've already read it. And then click install. And I'll wait for this to install. And I'll and I'll wait for this to install. Now mine says successfully installed and then you want to click Launch Ryzen Master. Um, wait for it to installize. And then it will pop up with this AMD processors. This is just saying the processor is not their fault um, if your processor is broken or damaged by this. Now, what you want to do is you go control mode, manual, and then set this to. 4,000 and then set this to 1.55 and then you click apply and test and it will say running stress test as you can see your CPU will get very hot during this st stress test um, that's the thing with overclocking you need a good cooler but with the F1 3000G um, cooler it's pretty good My stress test is finished and it hasn't crashed. Uh, the temperature is going down now. <laughs> now, if yours crashed, that means your CPU voltage was too low or too high, or your clock speed was too high. There are certain different types that you can put in, like presets, but this is one of them, and yeah, I'd recommend using this. Now, before I end the video, I would just like to say that Ryzen Master, if you you can close out of it after you've applied, but if you restart your computer or shut it down and turn it on again, the overclock will go away. The overclock will go away and you won't have the overclock anymore. <laughs>